Welcome to this video on scheduling your YouTube videos to go live at a specific time. So if like me, you have an instructional type channel, you maybe create your videos or edit them in bulk. So it's easier. It's part of your workload and your process. I might do a video on that at some point to just show you that process because it does really help to block certain tasks in at the same time so you're not having to go backwards and forwards because some of the things you do with youtube videos can absolutely be quite repetitive but what i like to do is i like to schedule them so i'm not having to remember that they need to be made public they need to be launched um at that specific time because i might be doing something else at that point i might be doing my nine to five or i might be somewhere else and i don't want to worry about it i want to make sure a video goes live on my channel whenever I want it to and I'm quite con I like to be quite consistent about that so when I'm in the YouTube studio on the right hand side you'll know in the visibility you've got the option it's currently private mine I upload them all privately and then edit them add my thumbnails and all that lot or you can unlist them or you can make them as public but what we're going to do in here is just have a quick look at the schedule option and like I said this is super super useful to help you and everyone else just to make sure your YouTube videos go live when you want them to no matter what's happening and you can schedule them as far in front as you like to I like to put a few on there so I know I've got a few and I don't need to worry about getting them and then I can just start to process with my next batch of videos so a schedule is public you will select your date it will always select the next day for you so select the day that you are interested in. I'm going to make this go live on Friday. And then you need to just tell the system when you want. I always do mine at 3 p.m. Did a bit of research and that's what it sort of suggested. So I always select 3 p.m. I don't like to do it too late, but I don't like to do it too early. And it really depends on where your audience is as well. You may want to play around with them, but I just like to very, I like to keep them specific so I know when those videos are going to go out. If the time zone is looking a bit weird for you, just check on that hover. You can see, in that, and that'll come from your Google account. So you can go into your Google settings and change that if you want to, but that's my local time. So the video is private before publishing. You can set it as a premiere if you want to. So viewers can watch it together and a it'll just say that it's gonna premiere so it's gonna I'm almost kind of given a sneak preview now i don't use that at the moment it might be something i use in the future but what i do is i just pre-schedule it so that i know it's gonna go out on friday at 3 p.m and i'm just gonna click done and then all i need to do is click save in the top right hand corner and if i just come out into my channel content so i'll just click to the left hand side You'll see now on there, this is the video that I've been playing around with and the visibility is scheduled. You can see if I hover, I know exactly when it's going out. Now, if I want to change that, I don't have to go back into it. I can just click on that drop down and make any changes. If I put the wrong date in, which happens sometimes, or the wrong time, you can absolutely go in and change that. And if you do make any changes, just click on schedule. That will appear and become bold and you'll be able to click on it and then save that update to the schedule. So a couple of useful ideas there if you're publishing some videos and you want to get ahead of yourself so that you always hit your deadline. It's got to be a really useful top tip for most people looking at productivity and things like that. So have a go at that one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like to me to record next.